Hello. It's Leanne Peters here. Oh, I just realised I haven't got my microphone, so hopefully the phone's microphone is good. Welcome. My name's Leanne Peters. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au. Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm here to create a space of support and healing that hopefully resonates with you. So I'm coming to you live now from Tasmania, Australia, where it is Sunday the 10th of September here, and the time is 5.51 p.m. <laughs> so I trust this video finds you well. I want to send out a big extra special welcome to my Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light members and all of those of you who support my work through my website. Thank you so much for your support. So the plan is I'm going to pull a healing energy card and we'll see what it is and I'll talk about it. <laughs> and then I'm going to do some smudging. So we'll do some smudging together. Then I'll pull another healing energy card to go. So that's the plan. I'll be here for about 15 minutes. So let's get straight into it. I'll see which card the majority of us need, all three of us. <laughs> so uh, take a nice big breath. And whether you're watching live or later to the replay, it doesn't matter. Take a nice big breath and let's see which healing energy card we need today. So I'm combined, I've combined my Healing Energy card New Deck 2 with Healing Energy cards 1. Um, and I have 110 cards here that I'm using. So the best card that the majority of us need right now as we look in, uh, connect for this time of <laughs> healing and support is this. So, from Healing Energy Cards Deck 1, we have Heaven on Earth, card 44. Hi, Tammy. Card 44, it's in the depth category, so it's pulling us deeper into ourselves. Uh, down here it says balance, deep, uh, depth of meaning, coming together. Bring formless, bring the formless into form, so manifestation. Love, accessing higher frequencies. Hello. Uh, living it, being it, and union. So this is the new artwork for the Heaven on Earth card, if you're still working with the old deck. And these are two figures here that have come together, united in love. Come, they look a bit like a tree coming out from their heads there's all this energy all this celebration like fireworks like branches of a tree that help connect them to each other but also connect them to spirit connect them to life and the things that are important to them and then coming out from their feet are like tree roots and all this energy coming down really grounding them and grounding the energy that they create together into the earth and into the present moment down in here this is like a cave this represents the unknown in the physical world as part of our physical journey our journey through life at this time and bringing also this energy down into the unknown or the uh, potential elements of our life that call us and they're in space so it's like a night sky here around them so this is very powerful energy and it's about the coming together uh, working together with others but also working together perhaps a bit more with ourselves as we look at the bigger picture so more of what's going on on a bigger picture level rather than the nitty-gritty annoyances of the everyday stuff that we deal with in, in our physical world what if there is more to life than that stuff, whether it's mundane and boring or whether it's too much, whether it's difficult? What if there is a bigger picture, a higher plan, a, um, uh, something deeper and something bigger, something that connects us all? So that's a lot about what this card's 
uh, relating to as well is really looking at that bigger picture how can we connect in with that higher energy that heaven kind of energy and bring it manifest it down into earth so how does that look and translate in our life it may look as um, doing things that uh, bring us a sense of joy or a fulfillment personal fulfillment that uh, we can pursue or we can look into or we can do in our life that is meaningful to us creating more meaning and purpose and perhaps a sense of belonging moving forward uh, but not only moving forward but also in the reality of the here and now and how we can uh, tap into that higher energy tap into the bigger picture the higher plan and figure out how to bring it into form you know it's the the power of manifestation just fascinates me and maybe it's because i'm an artist and i'm a creator and i've been working this energy for many many decades <laughs> i could say actually now um and it's quite the thrill of having an idea and then giving it some thought and contemplation and, and thinking okay is this something I can and want to bring into my life is it something I want to manifest is it something I want to bring into form to create in my life um, and if it is what steps can I take what can I physically do to bring those that idea into form and you know like writing books that having that idea and then going through the probably the most difficult part is the action which is getting all the words down writing and then editing and editing and editing and then designing and then waiting for printing but then one day that book just like my cards here as started as a dream and they end up they can end up in our hands now not all of our ideas and dreams are worth pursuing and taking to that level and I've also noticed a lot of people don't um, tend to follow or pursue their ideas and goals to actually be able to create something so I don't really see it happen that often but it is something that I find extremely thrilling and exciting the process of creating something and bringing something to form it's like when I sit with a blank piece of paper and I I might know what I'm about to draw or paint but most of the time I have no idea and I just get into the zone and I trust my instincts and I let loose I let rip and I just let myself create something and I just let the journey unfold and then it manifests at the end with this drawing of something reasonable usually um, not usually something too terrible in my mind because I kind of assess that as I'm going to hopefully create something reasonable at least to me so it's something I'm proud of but starting with a blank canvas that's starting building something from nothing so what are you what's going on for you at this time where you perhaps are being inspired or encouraged to build something from nothing maybe things are maybe things are not great for you in your life and you're looking for a way to pep and rev things up for you what can you bring forward in your life to spice and shake things up i find i get a bit like that if things become a bit too mundane and a bit too consistent and a little bit too routine my creative side doesn't like that for too long and I sometimes I've got to stir things up and and bring that sense of adventure through but we're all different we all do this kind of thing in different ways and have different driving forces that that pull us through such such energy so heaven on earth is our card what can you consider about your life that needs shifting what in your life is a blank canvas that you have the potential to create something new something exciting something fresh for you and for your family for your life so i'm going to do some smudging i've got a little bit of sage stick left 
So we're going to do a bit of smudging and clearing. And especially I'm looking at uh, clearing or supporting your movement of old energy, old ideas, perhaps limitations, barriers, obstacles to your, uh, to your life right now. You know, finances is a, can be a big obstacle in manifesting our dreams because I find sometimes the block in finances forces me to wait or it forces me to come up with a better idea. So sometimes obstacles on our journeys towards our goal um, can actually be quite timely because they can stop us or slow things down when we're wanting to jump ahead uh, prematurely or hastily. So let's do some clearing. So take a nice big breath and as you're breathing in, imagine breathing in the new air and as you breathe out, breathe out the old air. So breathing in the new and true and breathing out your pain and suffering and the things that are blocking you. As you let go. And let's ask this sacred smoke to wash over our bodies and carry away with it all negative energies, entities, cords, hooks, attacks and attachments. Anything we're holding on too tightly to right now that's got no room to heal or no room to improve or that does not align with our highest truth, let's be willing to let it go. To let it go and see what happens. So let's surrender everything that's holding us back at this time, including our own behaviour, our own attitude, our own beliefs, our own limitations and insecurities that keep us small and insignificant and unable to grow and expand and improve who we are. Let's be willing to let go. So surrender, cast aside, release, let go of that stuff that's holding you back from bringing your dreams into form or creating the life that you want to live, the life that you feel aligns with who you are. And if your life doesn't match that and you feel like there's something missing, then maybe there's something here to shift out and something to, new to align yourself with. Do you trust and know that you can connect with spirit with the universe with those high frequencies the higher parts of yourself that guide and support your journey forward and your journey through the obstacles and the barriers and the limitations that you face in your life now So there is a guiding force, there is a guiding light that hopefully you can feel or at least trust or know is there even if you don't feel it at this point. That you're not here for nothing is basically what I'm saying. There is higher purpose and a bigger picture, a higher plan to your being here at this point, at this time. If you didn't need to be here, you wouldn't be here. So there is a higher plan, a higher purpose to that's orchestrating, that's overseeing, that's governing, that's supporting our journey here. You are not small and insignificant. You can and you have the power to create a more purposeful life for yourself. How can you do that? So think about what you need to let go of, what you need to come to terms with about the reality of your life. If something's not working, ignoring it doesn't tend to make it better. So if something in your life isn't working, it might be important to assess what's going on for you in your life 
and assess what changes may be required and move forward from there. It's up to us to make something of our lives. So, so it is. <laughs> I'll just put out my sage stick. We'll see if we can get a couple more burns out of this guy. And if you just joined in, welcome. <laughs> uh, I was talking and smudging with this card in mind, which is card 44, called Heaven on Earth. Bringing higher energies down into the physical, basically whether it's ideas into manifestation, whether it is improvement into our life, change into our life, love into our life. But it's hard to bring it in if we don't think or believe that the higher frequencies and higher realm, the universe actually exists. So bringing it down, bringing it through, that's the depth element of this card as well. Bringing down into the roots in our life so thank you so much i'm going to grab another card in just a moment before i do i want to thank you so much for joining me today if you have enjoyed this video please hit the thumbs up button please show us some love please comment <laughs> please share uh please connect more privately if you'd prefer to do so if you'd like to learn more about my cards here or the work i do at temple of balance please visit templeofbalance.com.au as you will see from what i posted earlier today and the seven live viewers i have now is that um facebook is suppressing more than ever like really squeezing things out like we'd be lucky to have about 12 basically around 12 people seeing our posts out of over 500,000 organic followers so please 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 come and visit my page regularly like posts that you like comment if you want to um, send me an email every now and then so I know that you see them and that I'm not wasting my time being here um, that would be fantastic because it's yeah I mean I've got other things to do. I don't want to be, and I don't worry about it that much, but I mean, when you do something and it's not really happening, um, it's quite concerning, but you know, life goes on. So please visit the page directly when you can, Temple of Balance. See what posts and videos you may have missed. So I'm looking for the best card now to go. So I'm looking for the best card that the majority of us need for the next 24-ish hours, especially as we bring or work on or work out how that heavy on, Heaven on Earth card, how those high frequencies coming into our physical life, what that actually translates and means for us in our life. Because it's quite an ungrounded card in some ways, that Heaven on Earth. It's a little bit fantasy. So I'm really looking for a card that's practical and a way that we can help bring heaven on earth into our life. What might it look like? Look at the card that just jumped out, heaven on earth, <laughs> which is the card I just pulled before, if you didn't realise, or you just joined in. So the best card for what's next for the majority of us related to what I've been talking about is from Healing Energy Cards number two. Thank you, Angela. And it's this regeneration. This is interesting. It's a burnt out field or a burnt out bush or forest. And I've literally just been smudging. I don't really smudge that often, not in a video. So the smudging, the burned out kind of feeling. This is card 86 and it's in the rise category the opposite of the other that was in the depth category so this one's lifting us up the other one was pulling us deeper into contemplation and into the deep mysteries of of life and the universe this one's bringing things to the surface bringing things up and out down here it says upgrade new the aftermath recovery repair rebuild the new rising from the rubble life continues growing again a process 
and look ahead. So all this burnt out field or forest and we have this little seedling here that's this little sapling that's growing from a seed. It's growing, it's life within the parts of our life that feel like they're lifeless. It's a seed that wants to spark and sprout and come to our attention. It's hope in the middle of a disaster or a difficult time. And it's this sense of regeneration, things regenerating. Yes, it may feel like the end. It may feel like everything's gone. It may feel totally devastating. And it probably is. But here we have that little bit of hope, that little bit of life that wants to um, remind us that life goes on. So this is us rising from the rubble. It is a bit like the phoenix rising from the ashes. Uh, and this is the ashes of our life. And, you know, it really is up to us, isn't it, to see this because we it could be there and we only see what's burned out. We only count all the stuff that's missing and all the stuff that's not there. But actually, if we choose to focus on the good and the hope, then we might actually see the life that is around us and not all the devastation and destruction and all the death and all the stuff that's ending and all the stuff that's missing and not there. So let's tune ourselves. Let's tune ourselves like with our eyes, with our intuition. Let's tune our heart towards the things that are working. Again, it's the glass half full rather than the glass half empty. If we see and believe everything's the glass half empty, we're going to see everything empty. We're going to see everything that's not there. If we can tune and refocus our attention towards the glass being half full, things could be worse. Things could also be better, but things could be worse. And start looking at having a more hopeful attitude. Then our eyes look for the things that, that are aligned with that hope and aligned with that upliftment rather than the stuff that weighs us down. So I really feel moving forward is about training or choosing to look at the things that are more positive, more hopeful and more uh, full of potential for growth and, and new that wants to rise out of the rubble and the regeneration of our life and of ourselves. Um, there are a lot of things to be grateful for and a lot of things to look forward to and a lot of things to enjoy and appreciate about what we have and who who's around us now. So let's be careful we're not looking and noticing what's not there and what's missing and what's not the same anymore and let it go and choose to look at the glass half full and that little see that little sprout of hope that is there in our life it's there and I can feel it you know in our hearts it's there it's maybe not as bad as we think and maybe things are improving maybe things are getting better there will only be that way if we allow ourselves to see it so thanks for joining me today have a great rest of your day and I'll be back to share with you again very soon. Take care of yourself and sending you lots of love from my heart to yours. Thanks for watching.